Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to Falling Water, a house designed by the architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935. It is built partly over a waterfall on Bear Run in Mill Run section of Stewart Township, Fayette County, Pennsylvania. The house and seven other Wright constructions were inscribed as a World Heritage Site under the title The 20th Century Architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright in 2019. Falling Water has one of Wright's greatest masterpieces both for its dynamism and for its integration with its striking natural surroundings. Falling Water has been described as an architectural tour de force of Wright's organic architecture. Wright's passion for Japanese architecture was strongly reflected in the design of Falling Water particularly in the importance of interpenetrating exterior and interior spaces and the strong emphasis placed on harmony between man and nature. Contemporary Japanese architect Tadao Ando said of the house, We learned the most important aspect of architecture, the treatment of space from Japanese architecture. When I visited Falling Water in Pennsylvania, I found that same sensibility of space but there was the additional sounds of nature that appealed to me. The organically designed private residence was intended to be a nature retreat for its owners. The house is well known for its connection to the site. It is built on top of an active waterfall that flows beneath the house. The fireplace hearth in the living room integrates boulders found on the site and upon which the house was built. A ledge rock which protrudes up to a foot through the living room floor was left in place to link the outside with the inside. Wright had initially intended that the ledge be cut flush with the floor, but this had been one of the family's favorite sunning spots, so Kaufman suggested that it be left as it is. The stone floors are waxed while the hearth is left plain, giving the impression of dry rocks protruding from the stream. Integration with the setting extends even to small details. For example, where glass meets stone walls, no metal frame is used. Rather, the glass and its horizontal dividers were run into a caulked recess in the stonework so that the stone walls appear uninterrupted by glazing. From the cantilevered living room, a stairway leads directly down to an isolated platform at the stream below. A connecting space which connects the main house with the guest and servant level. A natural spring drips water inside, which is then channeled back out. Bedrooms are small, some with low ceilings to encourage people outward toward the open social areas, decks, and outdoors. Bear Run and the sound of its water permeate the house, especially during the spring when the snow is melting, and locally quarried stone walls and cantilever terraces resembling the nearby rock formations are meant to be in harmony. The design incorporates broad expanses of windows and balconies which reach out into their surroundings. In conformance with Wright's views, the main entry door is away from the falls. On the hillside above the main house stands a four-bay carport, servants' quarters, and a guest house. These attached outbuildings were built two years later using the same quality of materials and attention to detail as the main house. The guest quarters feature a spring-fed swimming pool which overflows and drains to the river below. Wright had initially planned to have the house blend with, into its natural settings in rural Pennsylvania. In doing so, he limited his palette to two colors, a light ochre for the concrete and his signature Cherokee red for the steel. Falling water had shown signs of deterioration over the past 80 years due in large part to its exposure to humidity and sunlight. The severe freeze-thaw conditions of southwest Pennsylvania and water infiltration also affected the structural materials. Because of these conditions, a thorough cleaning of the exterior stone walls is performed periodically. 
In addition, Falling Water's structural system includes a series of very bold reinforced concrete cantilevered balconies. Pronounced deflection of the concrete cantilevers was noticed as soon as the formwork was removed during construction. The deflection increased over time, eventually reaching 7 inches over a 15-foot span. 1995, the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy commissioned a study of the site's structural integrity. Structural engineers analyzed the movement of the cantilevers over time and conducted radar analysis to locate the, and quantify the reinforcement. The cantilevers were still insufficiently reinforced. Both the concrete and its steel reinforcements were close to their failure limits. An architectural firm was hired to fix the problem beginning with the installation of temporary girders in 1997. In 2002, the structure was repaired permanently using post-tensioning. The living room flagstone floor blocks were individually tagged and removed. Blocks were joined to the concrete cantilever beams and floor joists. High-strength steel cables were fed through the blocks and exterior concrete walls and tightened using jacks. The floors and walls were then restored, leaving Falling Water's interior and exterior appearance unchanged. Today, the cantilevers have sufficient support and the deflection has stopped. The Conservancy continues to monitor movement in the cantilevers.